Hi Virgo, welcome to your What They Aren't Telling You reading for February 5th through the 19th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. Seven of Cups. Okay, so a pending decision. Um, maybe there's some confusion, feeling overwhelmed with choices you need to make. Could be that. All right. Strength. The Magician. The Hanging Man. Wow, Virgo. <laughs> Three major arcana right out of the gate. Nine of Wands, Two of Swords. Nine of Cups, King of Cups. Okay. So, um, hmm. Things appear to be going good with your person. They, you know, were like, yeah, I'm good, I'm straight. This could be a Leo. Uh, in reality, they're trying to figure something out. What is that something? Is it how to make it work? Is it starting to wear on them? Huh. You know, they might be telling you they got a lot going on right now. But I think they're kind of feeling overwhelmed and they don't know what to do. I mean, wow. All three of these um, cards speak to trying to figure something out. Trying to come to a decision or not being able to come to a decision because of either feeling overwhelmed or because things there's outside uh, forces not yet harnessed or commandeered keeping you from being able to get what you want or what they want so it's just, what's this magician about what's going on there because it, what's the magician about okay new start though why why this new start you start with what because this is a new beginning. So everything seems fine, but they're, they want, maybe they're trying to figure out a way to inject some passion in the relationship. Um, are they trying to figure out how to leave? I mean, because they want a new, new beginning here, a new start, new passion, new vitality, new interest. Um, hold on here. I feel like they're telling you, like, like I said, that there's a lot going on, but, hmm, you know, hold on a minute, because this feels like it's somebody that got in their own way, somebody that's, um, that created their own issues. I don't think this has to do with you and them feeling like it's unhealthy with you. I feel like it's some, some of them might be aware some of them might not, but I feel like some past issues might have caught up to them. Um, and, and for some of you, I know this is random, but it feels like this is somebody who holds grudges. I don't know. I, I don't, I mean, for you cross watchers out there, you can be like <laughs> throwing stones at me, but somebody can't get out of their own way. So they might be telling you like, I've got a lot going on or I'm just, I don't know how I feel. I'm, I'm pretty defensive or angry. Or maybe they're not telling you that. They're showing you that. They're combative. They're argumentative. But I, I feel like this is an unhealthy um, thing within themselves. This could be Capricorn. This could be Leo, Pisces. But I feel like this is, um, I don't know. I, usually this is somebody who's done something and I'm defensive. But this right here makes me feel like this is them sabotaging themselves. Like they, they don't let somebody get past a certain point. Um, so it's not something you did. It's just kind of a pattern that they have. Like, okay. It's just two of swords about. Ooh. Okay. No forward movement. Or it's like stop, start, erratic. Maybe there's no forward movement. There's no planned forward movement. There's no desire. And then all of a sudden, oh, but wait, I want to do this. You know what I mean? There's no, it, this is very solitary. It's not communal. It's not... So we've got somebody that's shut down, that is 
and information overload is not able to make a decision. So they're telling you that they feel like this, everything's just gotten to be too much right now and there's just a lot going on. But honestly, it feels like they've created it that way. It feels like they can't get out of their own way. And, you know, for some of you, this could be somebody that might be dealing with trying to manage um, a lot going on in their life or mental health issues like a lot of anxiety or a lot of stress because we've got somebody that's kind of shut down. Um, now, for others, this could be somebody that's just not feeling it anymore and they're trying to find a way out of the relationship. This is somebody that's probably, you know, I've just, I've just got a lot going on right now and I'm not feeling very good, you know, or I just, I feel like I'm just not doing what I'm supposed to be doing, blah, blah, blah. But really, I think their emotions or feelings have shut down. Um, now that could speak to anxiety or depression, but that could also speak to them not feeling the relationship anymore because they're trying to figure out a way to, for a new start. This right here to me suggests lack of forward movement at all. Like there's no desire, no anything. So this again could be kind of doubling down on the whole um, anxiety, depression, like un, unmanaged mental health issues because this is someone that has no motivation or drive, okay? So either they're not feeling it for the relationship anymore or they've got no more drive or just they're this speaks to something being unhealthy so maybe this is a pattern that repeats for them is that they get overwhelmed they shut down they go into a depression they come back out they're kind of like go 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 got to fix got to resolve because i've let things go too long because i was in a depressive state and then round and round we go but then we've got this picture right here of things being fine like they maybe they appear fine because that's their mo you know they don't want to show weak in the wild or they get devoured right so for as long as they can, they appear like everything's going good. I'm straight. I'm straight. I'm good. But they're probably, they probably got this mounting anxiety because they're trying to figure out how to make their life work. If not a new start, either this is them trying to life an adult. <laughs> and yes, that's a verb or, um, it is now, right. Or they're just not feeling the relationship anymore. And they're trying to, they're trying to find a way out of it. Either way, this person is in trying to figure out mode. And you, I gather, are feeling very cut off from them because they are not receptive. They're defensive. Um, they might even be telling you that they just need to be alone to be happy for a while. Like they need to find out what makes them happy. They need to, to kind of just be alone. Or this could be somebody that has created a coping strategy. Not a very good one, but something that would make them happy. But it's not very healthy. What's this nine of cups about? Like it's an unhealthy coping skill. You know, I don't mean to get all psychology ish on, but I mean, seriously, like everybody's got coping skills. Just are they healthy or not? You know, some people it makes them feel better to eat or to shop or gamble or watch porn or whatever. Doesn't necessarily mean it's the best thing for them to do to resolve that pit of anxiety. You know, this nine of cups. Yeah, there's that internal conflict, that whole just, I need to just, I need just a fresh new start. I need to cut everything off. I just want to be happy. I just, I just want to lighten the load. I just want, I just want to be happy. Well, that's coming from somebody that has, has left a lot of unresolved stuff in their wake. So it's not you, Virgo. Honestly, this feels like it's somebody that is really struggling. It's this King of Cups right here. My first thought is they want to be alone with their anxiety or their feelings. They want to go inward. They want to just be alone. This could also be somebody wanting to start with somebody else, though. Uh, there's that internal conflict again. The uh, Virgo, this is somebody that wants to be by themselves right now, and your advice is to do nothing. You might want to be with this person, but you need to stand down because this is somebody that is conflicted across the board. They can't get out of their own way. And this is an ongoing, yeah, okay. This is an ongoing battle. So honestly, your advice is to do nothing and let it lie. And this is you with a new beginning and walking away. So um, you need to stand down. Whatever this person's going through, um, it is rooted in their unresolved, uh, probably mental health issues. Just because no matter what they do, they can't get out of their own way and they're not happy. And the minute they start connecting with someone, it only connects to a certain point and then they get defensive. And this is a repeated pattern for them. They start to feel trapped. They start to feel like, I just need to be free and be happy. And they want to cut everything off. Um, 
and then they just kind of kind of want to be alone with their feelings and it's almost like they're like they're very self-absorbed because they they only go to a certain point and then instead of pushing past that to resolve whatever is truly bothering them they cut things off or they cut things out thinking it's that thing that's bothering them or that person that's bothering them when in reality this is a this is a pattern for them and it's it's constant indecision and yet feeling overwhelmed and overloaded and constant indecision and feeling overwhelmed and overloaded so this isn't really anything of your doing or that you can help virgo um other than maybe give them a reference to maybe some professional that you think would benefit them but this is out of your hands honestly this is you you need to stand down some for, like i said for some of you this might be a pisces but they're they're trying to figure out how to cope and adult in life so and i don't you know yeah. so yeah decisions decisions about this yeah you need to um stay out of it you might want but no okay where we go you need and this person needs some comfort and healing and caring somebody to kind of just help um, this would speak to the need for self-care first probably both for you and this person virgo i gotta tell you you're probably exhausted trying to see to this person's need and they can't be helped at least not by you this is an internal struggle with them so they might seem like everything's fine like i'm just there's a lot going on but i'm good i'm good i'm just trying to be happy just trying to find my happy but inside they are severely conflicted and they might say they want to be alone but it's just because after a certain point everything feels like it's crowding in on them and it's not you it's not anybody it's them and they're not it's not that they're bad it's just there's there's unaddressed issues that they keep running from thinking it's external and it's not. So this is somebody that's, it, that's conflicted here. And both of you are in need of attending to self-care issues. You're probably exhausted. Um, and they need to address the elephant in the room. They might not know what it is, though. That's, that's the hard part is they might keep thinking that it's everybody external. But we've got a solitary across the board here, just wanting to be by themselves. And I don't think it's because of you. I think that's their MO. I think that they get to a certain point in relationships and then they're out because they, they can't handle the scrutiny or everybody after a while says the same thing to this person. Um, you know, maybe you should go talk to somebody about this or what is wrong? What's going on? It's the same old story they've heard over and over again. And it's, it's not anything they... Are willing to address fully I should say okay Virgo all right so what else could this person say to Virgo, Virgo. what could they say to Virgo well don't have to be rude and throw yourself all over the place hold on a minute golly all right geez Louise it's the third time it <laughs> jumped it's like okay I'll take it uh, receive he okay both of these are about receiving healing Offering comfort, offering healing, offering caring, and receiving it. So as much as you've offered comfort and probably provided comfort for somebody, you also need to receive it. You are in dire need of self-care and just kind of being resourced and being rejuvenated. Um, you need to stand down and lay low for as much as you want. That's probably why you've been running yourself ragged because you want this, but it, now is not the time. They don't, it, this is out of your hands. It's not something you can help with. Unless, you know, it's driving them to an appointment or something like that. But this wasn't your fault. The breakup, the whatever they're going through is not your fault. They could have a hidden addiction they're not telling you about. But there's, they're just, there's just a lot of mental conflict going on with them. Virgo. What does spirit or source have to say to Virgo? What does Virgo most need to hear right now? You poor thing, Virgo. Virgo. You need to stop beating yourself up. <laughs> Tell you that. There we go. All that glitters is not gold. Okay. All right. So all that glitters. What do we got here? What do we got? Sometimes we try to become something we're not to impress others. We embellish a story a bit, adding some dramatic elements to make us more appealing. 
The real person becomes hidden behind the sparkle and shine, and then there are times when we don't see the truth, true value of someone else because he or she may not have the glitz and glamour that seems so desirable. Now is the time to look past the surface, beyond the mask, to the essence of a person, who that person is, not what he or she has or can give you is important. See beyond the glitter and look for the inner glow. Use the eyes in your heart. Let go of the artifice and let what is authentic shine. Okay. That I know that that was supposed to be like, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. But what that says to me is that this person on the outside, look at all the glitter here. You see all the gold shiny. It's like, oh, I am yeah, fine. I'm good. I'm straight. I'm happy. I'm doing my thing, whatever. But if you see past that and you see over here, what they're not telling you is that they have a, there's, there is mental conflict with this person for the Virgos that I'm reading for. Um, your person, this is a pattern for them that goes so far in a relationship and then they feel claustrophobic and they got to get out and they're, but this is all speaking to constantly wanting a new beginning, constantly trying to figure out how to make something work, that machinating, that, that fixing something that's not broken and just constantly trying to rev the engine, but they don't go anywhere. They're overwhelmed with indecisiveness and they, or, and, and they are indecisive. And this is someone needing to be alone to be in their feelings because they're internally conflicted. So things might appear good. They just got a lot going on, but they're trying to find they're happy and they're, they're just making some changes and they're going and doing and whatever. And over here, it's like they, they can't get a break. That's what they feel like. So you're probably worn the hell out because nobody can keep up with this. Honestly, they can't even keep up with this. Look at this two of swords here. So you need to stand down. This is not yours to deal with. This is all them. They need to deal with it. They're not a bad person. They just are largely unaware to their own issues or blind spots. Maybe they're in denial, but this person is emotionally unavailable to you. So it is not worth pursuing and you need to, you need a new beginning. Um, this could be speaking to taking a leap of faith and getting the hell out of Dodge. There's nothing for you here right now. This is all, this is somebody completely in their own thoughts and they are all about themselves and trying to figure out themselves. You're not a factor at this point. They may say you are, but you're not there. There's a whole lot going on internally here that you are not going to be privy to. All right, Virgo, I'm sorry. Um, I hope this was helpful, but you didn't. Mm -mm. Things are not what they seem with this person. Um, okay. They're, and for all the decisions and emotional confusion, it's very simple. This person is not available. You need to, I mean, honestly, <laughs> new beginning and walking away. This, There's nothing for you here. Shutting up. I hope this was helpful, Virgo. I wish you luck with this. You take care.